All right, in this video, we're going to look at how we can add images to our program. The first thing we need to do is update our library. We're going to run a search for SDL2 image. We want to download the development libraries uh, for SDL2 MinGW. So we'll click on this and extract that. And you can put it wherever you want, someplace you can find it. And once you've extracted that to your desktop, open the folder. We're going to wait into the x86 again. Open the include folder, SDL2. You've got one header file in there. We're going to copy that and paste it with our other SDL2 header files. Just right click on that and paste. And we're going to do the same thing with the library files. Click on the lib folder copy these three files here and paste those in the lib folder and then the last one is the bin folder we need all of the DLLs you can click on type over here to get them all together and then just highlight all of those copy and we're going to paste these in two different places. We're going to paste it in the bin folder with our regular SDL2 DLLs. Paste there. And then you need to locate your project and go into the dist folder, debug, MinGW, and paste the DLLs in here as well. Now, back in NetBeans, to configure our project to accept the image library, we're going to right click on our project over here and go to properties, go to linker, and then down here, we're going to edit this. We're going to add one more line to it dash L SDL to underscore image, and then click OK and click OK. And our globals header file. We'll want to include SDL underscore image dot H. And that's the end of the setup. If we want to test this out, the first thing we need to do is put an image, a PNG image inside our project folder. So you can download any PNG image you want from the internet, or if you've got one available, go ahead and drop that in your project folder. Um, I've put one in here called plantrepack.png and it's just the sprite sheet that I downloaded from Open Game Art and we're going to try to load that in. So in main here, before my main loop, I'm going to create a SDL underscore texture pointer and I'll just call that tech. And we'll set that equal to img underscore load texture and low texture is going to take the renderer and the name of your texture so mine is plant repack png so that's what I'm gonna type right here now if this works correctly that should load the texture in you can run a, a check here you can put an if statement and say if not text see out um, SDL2 underscore get error. This is just a good little catch here, a little safety net that can let you know um, if something goes wrong. Now that loads it in, but it doesn't draw it. We've got our, our rectangle up here. We can draw inside of a rectangle or we can draw to the entire screen. We'll start off by trying to draw to the entire screen. So down here, um, after I draw everything else, but before I present, I'm going to add a line SDL underscore render copy. And render copy takes four arguments our renderer, our texture, and then two rectangles. The first is a source rectangle, which can be if I only want to draw a part of the image. I give it a rectangle to specify which part I want to draw. If you want to draw the whole image, you can just put null there. 
and then the other rectangle is the destination rectangle just like we've done previously where do you want this image drawn if you want to draw into the whole screen you can put null there as well so we'll put null in both places just to test and see if our library is working and now we see my sprite sheet loaded in so everything is working correctly if I wanted it confined to our rectangle we'll take out this second null here and put our rectangle in instead the address of rect and you can see it's confined to that rectangle now let's say I only wanted to draw a piece of this image what I can do is come up here and we'll create a second rectangle copy this line paste it here and we'll call this rect2 if I pull up my image um, let's say I just want to take this first tree here instead of opening this with the default image viewer I can open it with paint.net and then paint.net will tell you the coordinates of your mouse so anytime the mouse is on the screen I've got these two coordinates over here telling me my X and my Y so I can draw a box around any one of these sprites and then look down there at the right I see I'm at 64 and 154 over here on the left it says my selection is 0 1 I'm 65 wide and 154 tall so I can use these coordinates in my code to specify which part of this image I want 0 1 65 and 154 Now that I've got my second rectangle in here, I can plug that in as my source. And run the program again. And you see I just get that one tree. So your first rectangle is your source, the second is your destination. And that's how you would load a basic image. The image library supports PNGs, JPEGs, and a few other file formats but PNG is your best file format for images because it is compressed it is a lossless compression and it supports transparency which is very useful when programming games and uh, graphic applications